I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student. I hope the solution of this question will help many other students. It is based on inequalities. We need to solve the inequality minus 2x square minus 14x minus 20 divided by x square plus 5x plus 6 less than or equal to 5. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now first step is to factor numerator and denominator. So let's factor. So we get minus 2 common in the numerator. That gives us x square plus 7x plus 10 and the denominator is product of 6 sum of 5 so so that gives us 3 times 2 so we could write this as x plus 3 times x plus 2 less than or equal to 0 now in the numerator we are looking for product of 10 sum of 7 so that is x plus 5 times x plus 2 and we have denominator as x plus 3 times x plus 2. So that means we have a whole at x equals to minus 2. That cancels. And we have a vertical asymptote at minus 3. A 0 at x equals to minus 5. Now the important question to think about is that when we look for inequalities, should we consider the whole or not? So we need to consider, right? So, so what we should do is we should consider holes, vertical asymptotes and zeros. All of them, right? So here we have 0 at x equals to minus 5 vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3 and whole at x equals to minus 2. So we are going to consider all these values to solve the inequalities, right? So let's make a table uh, and then solve. So we have minus 5, minus 3 and minus 2. Okay. So let us say this represents x equals to minus 5. This is minus 3, minus 2. So in these intervals, let's take some test points. So our test point on the left side of minus 5 could be minus 6. Here we could take minus 4. Here we could take minus 2.5. And 0 could be a good point on the right side of minus 2. The factors to consider are right there. So we have minus 2 here. And then we have x plus 5 and we have x plus 3. Now x plus 2 and x plus 2 are common in numerator and denominator. So we need not write them, right? Minus 2 is going to be negative for all values. x plus 5 will be negative for minus 6, positive for rest, x plus 3 will be negative for first two values and positive for the rest. So in these intervals, what we get here is negative in the first interval, positive because of two negative signs and then negative and thereafter we do get uh, <coughs> again negative. Okay. So that is how we are going to get the signs for the function in different intervals. Now we are looking for less than 0. That means we are looking for intervals where this particular function is negative. So which is between minus infinity and less than equal to, right? Now zeros could be part of solution but not others. So minus 5 being a 0 will be a part of solution. So we write this minus 5 as included and of course minus infinity cannot be included. Now 0, a whole, is a discontinuity. So minus 2 cannot be included, right? And minus 3 is infinite. 
discontinuity so that can also not be included so from minus 3 to minus 2 we do have a solution and then from minus 2 to infinity right so from this table we get our answer as x belongs to the interval minus infinity to minus 5 where 5 is included right union minus 3 to minus 2 both cannot be included where they are discontinuities they are not a part of your domain and then from minus 2 to positive infinity do you see that so that is how we are going to solve this inequality i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views let me thank once again for this excellent question where we had to consider whether the whole should be considered in this interval or not so clearly the whole will be considered however there is no point in writing this factor two times because that will nullify the effect correct so i hope that is taken care of thanks for watching and all the best